Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do important loan agreements. So I spend whole my day for this thing, important loan agreements. So basically international uh, organizations, they give loans to India, right? For the development purposes, World Bank, IMF, Asian Development Bank, alag -alag organization loan provide karte hai, uh, for infrastructural developments, right? So पढ़ने का एक तरीका है द नेम ऑफ द लेंडर द पर्पस ऑफ द लेंडिंग अमाउंट ऑफ द लेंडिंग राइट कितने का लोन पर्पस क्या है इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर योर एग्जाम इन द प्रीवियस पेपर्स लाइक टू थ्री क्वेश्चंस वर देयर इन एवरी एग्जाम हर पेपर में एक दो एक दो क्वेश्चन आ जाते हैं और बहुत विद इन लाइक पंद्रह बीस मिनट में यू कैन ईजिली कवर दैट आई बी प्रोवाइडिंग प्रॉपर पी डी एफ फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन एज वेल सो लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन बी फोर स्टार्टिंग दिस इज माई व्हाट्सएप नंबर आफ्टर इफ यू नीड इन केस अगर आपको चाहिए तो सो आई बी पी एस आर आर बी स्केल टू स्केल थ्री क्रैश कॉस इज अवेलेबल ऑन बैंक एग्जाम सर डॉट कॉम लिंक इज अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन द कम्प्लीट वीडियो क्लासेज नोट्स को वेजेज आर अवेलेबल ऑल्सो फॉर द फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस सेक्शन सेपरेटली आप ले सकते हो सो फॉर एशियन लेट स्टार्ट द सेशन Uh, the government of India is the borrower. The lender is Asian Development Bank (ADB). A 181 million dollar ka loan to build quality infrastructure and improve urban livability and mobility in peri-urban areas of Ahmedabad city. What do you mean by peri-urban uh, areas of Ahmedabad city? So let's say this is Ahmedabad city, and let's say new colonies are developed outside the municipal uh, limit of the Ahmedabad city. That is peri-urban areas. So rural areas may be here, right? But these are peri-urban areas at the outskirts of urban areas. Come peri-urban, बोलते हैं. To develop the infrastructure at the peri-urban areas, 181 million dollars were lent by Asian Development Bank to Government of India. DBS Bank uh, lent. Uh, they had an MOU uh, of 250 million to foster innovation and entrepreneurship within India's eco uh, startup ecosystem, and they are going to lend money to startups and new economy companies japan bank for international cooperation jbic and the borrower is national thermal power corporation ntpc so japan bank for international cooperation they lent money to ntpc kitna 200 million dollars and the purpose is for fgd project and renewable energy projects by the ntpc renewable energy limited okay International Finance Corporation (IFC) and Brookfield Asset Management Company is the borrower, and the the amount of the loan is 105 million for a 550 megawatt solar project in Bikaner, Rajasthan. So ADB Asian Development Bank they gave money to Aadhaar Housing Finance Limited, 60 million dollar diye hain to provide housing loans to low income families, particularly focusing on women. so adhar housing finance limited they borrowed 60 million dollars from asian development bank again asian development bank lent money to government of india 200 million dollars to support expansion of nagpur metro rail network and improve urban mobility nagpur metro rail ke liye 200 million dollars from asian development bank and the borrower is government of india Asian Development Bank again the borrower is government of india how much 500 million dollars to enhance tertiary healthcare and medical education in the state of maharashtra by establishing four new medical colleges right so char new medical colleges and the budget is 500 million dollars 500 million dollar ka jo hai loan liya gaya from asian development bank Asian Development Bank again uh, the borrower is government of India for 200 million dollars and the goal is to address flood and river bank erosion along the Brahmaputra river in Assam iske liye 200 million dollars are borrowed from Asian Development Bank again Asian Development Bank lent 23 million dollars to Gujarat in, uh, international Uh, finance tech city gift city to establish international fintech institute ifi and enhance fintech education and innovation so world bank uh, lent money to government of assam how much 452 million and the purpose is to improve connectivity strengthen the roads bridges uh, bridge resilience promote inclusive growth in rural areas of assam 
Asian Development Bank and City and SMEs are going to be the borrower and $100 million is going to be lent to enhance supply chain financing for SME across Asia and Pacific. So Asian Development Bank and the borrower is government of Sikkim now. $148.5 million to modernize, goal is to modernize Sikkim's power distribution system including systems upgrades. Uh, substation enhancement and healthcare facility improvements. So in the exam, you will note that uh, $148.5 million was lent to by Asian Development Bank for power distribution system, etc, etc, which, uh, you know, state government borrowed that money. So it's government of Sikkim. So World Bank uh, and the borrower is Greater China uh, Greater Chennai Cooperation, sorry, it's 150 million dollars to support Chennai Zero Waste Initiative, including ending waste disposal at dump sites. So, Asian Development Bank lent money to Government of India, 170 million dollars, to strengthen India's health system's ability to prepare for and respond for future pandemics. And World Bank lent 1.5 billion dollar to government of India, there is an MOU to accelerate India's green hydrogen development and creating a clean fuel market. And Asian Development Bank and the borrower is NG Group. Uh, and the loan amount is 175.9 million. Uh, the purpose is to construct and operate 400 megawatt solar photovoltaic uh, power plant in Sundarnagar district of Gujarat, uh, Surinder Nagar district of Gujarat. So ADB and the borrower is SBI and NABARD and the loan amount is $240.5 million and goal is to support installation of roof, rooftop solar systems in India and to provide loans to developers and end users. So Green Climate Fund GCF and the borrower is SIDB and the loan amount is $215.6 million and the purpose is to implement financing uh, to implement financing mitigation and adaptation projects in Indian MSMEs to implement financing mitigation and adaptation in Indian MSMEs. ADB and the borrower is government of India and the loan amount is 200 million dollars and the goal is to improve uh, sanitation conditions in 100 cities across eight Indian uh, states uh, contributing to Swachh Bharat mission. So what was the purpose of these kind of questions you are going to see in the exam as a questions you will get in the paper. What was the purpose of 181 uh, million dollars loan agreement signed between government of India and Asian Development Bank on 13th of March 2024 to build quality infrastructure services in peri-urban areas of Ahmedabad. So exactly as a questions you will get in the paper. So what is the amount of lending commitment? So this lending commitment between DBS Bank uh, that they have uh, announced to support startups in India. $250 million. For what purpose did NTPC sign a loan agreement with Japan Bank for International Cooperation uh, for FGD projects and renewable energy projects? How much did the IFC International Finance Corporation commit to financing Brookfield Asset Management solar power plant in Bikane, Rajasthan, $105 million? And what is the primary goal of $200 million loan agreement between India and Asian Development Bank for Assam to address flood and river bank erosion uh, issues along with Brahmaputra River? And what is the value of loan provided by the World Bank to Assam, uh, India to improve rural connectivity? It's $452 million. That is the loan value. And which bank is involved in $240.5 million loan approved by Asian Development Bank to support rooftop solar systems in India? So SBI is involved in it. How much did Green Climate Fund approve for SIDB to implement financing and uh, financing mitigation and adaptation projects in Indian MSMEs to $15.6 million? And what is the aim of $200, uh, $200 million loan agreement between India and ADB, Asian Development Bank to improve sanitation conditions in Indian cities 
to enhance waste management and sanitation across eight uh, Indian states. Across hundred cities, uh, uh, in Indian states, right? Eight Indian states. So, which organization has approved one point five billion dollar loan to accelerate India's development of green hydrogen? Very important question. So, I hope you can answer this. Give me an answer. Correct answer is World Bank. Okay. So, I hope you like the today's session. And if you like the today's session, you will love the IBPS RRB Scale Two Scale Three course that we are providing on Bank Exams today. Link to join the course is available in the description and we are providing video classes, notes, quizzes, live sessions, weekly quizzes and interview preparation guidance is provided in the course. This is my WhatsApp number. Link to join the course is available in the description. This is the crash course. Please join the crash course. Link uh, list of our successful students in the past. All these students that took our courses and they cracked the respective exams. Yes, are our ex-students. In the past, we have courses liye and they cracked the respective exams and I'm really, really happy for them. And uh, you can be one of them and you will be one of them in the future for sure. And that's all for today, students. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.